Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice with Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crown. Today, we'll be reacting to Mahoka Coco Season 2, Episode 5. And in the last episode, we quite literally saw Titans clash on the battlefield. Now, when I say this, you're probably thinking about the Tatsuya vs. Sirius fight, which did happen, but we all know that the actual highlight of Episode 4 was Miyuki vs. Sirius, which I think caught all of us off guard and real quick i just want to point out that maybe some of you guys have forgotten but miyuki is a beast as well a lot of people sleep on miyuki i feel because we see so much about tatsuya like he's the only one that's called god suya but what about god yuki we know that Tatsuya has pretty much been nerfed all of season one because he's had these limiters put on him. And when the limiters are taken off, he's absolutely insane. But you gotta think, it's gotta take someone that's almost just as insane to be able to contain God Suya. And that's exactly what Miyuki does. I feel like both of them are insane and I'm glad that she finally got some time to shine. But during the fight, we got to see Sirius face off against Miyuki. Sirius brought out her Muspelheim, and Miyuki brought out her Niflheim. They clashed, and honestly, someone was gonna die there. I believe Tatsuya or someone said that if the fight did not stop, someone was going to die on that battlefield. And so he interfered, cut the fight short, and it ultimately ended in a draw. We don't know who would have won, but the fact that Miyuki was able to take serious that far is kind of insane but at the same time i don't think either of them have really brought out their like true potential i think that was just a little taste of what they're actually capable of and i can't wait to see what else they're capable of hopefully we can see more in this episode but if things got that crazy in episode four i just i have no idea what's to come throughout the rest of this series but anyways if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like it helps me and the video out so much more than you might think and subscribe for more weekly mahoka coco reactions we're bringing them back to the channel and once i catch up all the way then they'll be coming out weekly so with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode Alright, so real quick, before we get into the video, in this reaction, I'm going to be trying a new reaction style, which can hopefully make the reaction enjoyable through just this video alone. However, of course, due to copyright, I'm going to have to do some censoring. So, if you'd like to enhance your experience or add a little bit more magic to the reaction, I have some recommendations for you guys. If you've already seen the recommendations, then feel free to head down to the timestamps and jump ahead to when the reaction starts. But if you have not, here they are. The first one, as you can expect, is going to be to watch this through the picture-in-picture -picture style. And this is very easy to do on PC, and it's also possible to do on mobile as well. If you're doing it on PC, then this is how I do it at least when I watch reactions. What I do is I go on Google Chrome and I use the extension Floating Player, and with that, literally all that I have to do is go to the Source Anime Video website that I'm watching, click the extension button, and then it gives me a little pop-up, up. And then I just drag that pop up in front of the YouTube video and it should look something like this for you guys. This way you can see the whole anime, you can hear the whole anime, and all you have to do is just press play as soon as the countdown starts. However, the second recommendation is to please head on over to the Cloud Crowd public discord. There I will have free uncut reactions for you guys so that you can watch my reactions with the anime all in one place. So if if you like to do that head on over to the discord but anyways i will not take up any more of your time hope you guys enjoy the reaction and without any further ado let's get straight into it all right so here make sure you guys have your source videos ready pull them up and get ready to sync them with me because we will be starting episode five in three two one go all right let's see what this episode's got for us. Is this good? This should be alright. Ah, okay. Mikihiko. Alright. Alright. 
Very side Goosa. Oh, oh snap, oh snap. Okay, okay. We're getting into it already. Dang, they sprung straight into action. As soon as they got the information. So right now we're hunting down the parasites. What is that? Oh, oh, the bitterest chocolate ever. Who's going to want that? I mean, I love dark chocolate just as much as the next guy, but what? She, she wants to give him the bitterest chocolate she can find? What the heck? Is that like a part of the, how do I explain it? I know in Japan they have, um, they have two kind of Valentine's Day holidays. I believe one is White Day, and I forget what the other one is called. But I know on one, it's like the girls give chocolates to the guys, and then the guys give chocolates to the girls on the other holiday. But is that a thing? Like, does getting the like most bitter chocolate you can find show that you love the person more or something like that? I don't know, by just obliterating their taste buds? <laughs> I'm not sure what she meant by that. I don't know if she's trying to play a prank. I don't know. I feel like it's hard to tell what's going on in Saigusa's head, but... I don't know. I guess we'll find out when Valentine's Day comes. Oh wait, is it Valentine's Day and um, White Day? Are those the two holidays? I'm not sure. But man. Huh, I forgot to mention that, dude. Tatsuya laid down the evidence for them. Andy put trackers on them. Who could be calling at a time like this? Kitayama? There she is. Did she just wake up or something? No, it's night where she is. Dude, she looks and sounds like she just woke up. Hmm. Oh, that could explain it. I don't know about that. Was that a hiccup I heard there? <laughs> okay. So she's been partying. Hmm. Oh, is it the black hole information she found out? Mm-hmm. So Tatsuya is not the only one that's got info. Oh yeah, she was at the party just before this. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Gravity. Okay. I I <laughs> I'm trying my best to follow, but Tatsuya, your brain's a bit too big.
If any of you guys can explain that in more layman's terms, I'd very much appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's even like slurring her words a bit. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get it. I think. Let's see. Okay. Brain blast. Mm-hmm. But when you break the wall, do you get more energy or something? Oh, the black holes! Okay, okay. So those make, like, an opening in the wall. Hmm. And more energy can seep through, through the black holes. Ah. Also, unstable magic leaks, leaks through. Ah, okay, okay, I see what's going on here. This is frightening indeed. Magics we've never even heard of. Mm hmm Ah, so, okay. So these parasites we've bumped into, are those people that are taking advantage, like maybe they're creating the black holes, and they're drawing in that, like, unstable magic from outside of our dimension? And that's why they're so strong? Hmm. This whole time, I thought that um, the parasites and the dudes with the masks were two different entities. Mikiko. And he brought sandwiches. And he had to have known what kind of sandwiches they like, because they have two different kinds. Hmm. All right. We got a heavily armored truck. Okay, so some sort of barrier. Oh no! Ooh, this has to be something dangerous for her to drop her sandwich. Oh, that's cool. Did he kind of create a protective field around them that the aura couldn't penetrate? Dang, do you think that truck is full of parasites, maybe? Yeah, we're going to need all the help we can get. She can help. Yeah, let her come with. 
Mm-hmm. And I guarantee you she's going to be the VIP. The MVP. Because of her eyes. Mm hmm. Yep. You gotta remember, Erica, everyone here is a beast. Everyone. Dude, I shipped them so hard. <laughs> Those two are so cool. Hmm. Mia. Yo, that's such a sick laptop. But terrible for privacy. <laughs> like, you could see everything from the other side. She felt it too. Okay. Maybe a whole truck full of them. Terrible. Oh, snap. So maybe they came here for something specifically. All right, Tatsuya's diving in, and he's using the the um the flying magic that he pretty much um I guess he didn't discover it, but he mastered it, didn't he? In the last season, he like perfected flight magic. And Lena's already here. There's Mia. Oh, we've seen him use this last season, too. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay, okay. I see. Dang, she must be powerful, too. Okay, Mia. You can't underestimate her. I wonder if she's going to be able to detect it. So they can't see or hear outside of the barrier that he's making? That's such a cool magic. Mm hmm Yeah, so they can leave the barrier, but while they're in it, they can't see us surrounding them. And there's Erica. Ooh. Dang. Mia probably would have been done for right there. I wonder what she specializes in. What? Oh, 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 he protected her. I'm dumb. He protected her from the gunshot. Ooh! Okay! Let's go. I feel like we've been sleeping on Mia, dog. Oh, wow, she penetrated the barrier. Ooh! Oh, no. You were the one in the white mask. Oh, it was one of our own. So now I wonder if it's going to be. Oh. Did we get her? 
Dang. So I wonder if it's going to be us and Lena versus her. Of course she can heal herself. Of course. Miyuki! Freezer solid. Let's go. Try getting out of that, buddy. Let's go. And Lena had no idea. She was fooled by her own ally. True. Ah, uh, is this backup? Oh, Jumanji said, get that out of here. What the heck? And she's breaking out. Dude, these guys are OP. Oh, is she self-destructing? What? What the hell was that? Did she transform herself into magic? Bro, what? Ooh, she put a barrier over Erica. Dude, what the hell is going on? Is she like gone? Is she like dead dead? He can't sense her anywhere. Is that one of the black holes, maybe? What? Dude, these guys are insane. Yeah, maybe because the people in the truck Possess humans and alter them. Oh, okay, okay. I see. So maybe they got rid of Mia's body. Ah. So parasites may actually be separate entities. It's after Erica. Tell her to come over here, get inside the barrier. Oh, does she have a plan? Oh, she can see it. I respect that. Let's go. We can't just let her die out there. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go. See if this plan is going to work. That's true. So don't go dying on us. I like that attitude. <laughs> Man. Everyone in Tatsuya's friend group is so cool. And she can see it. Oh, man. She can see this thing in 4K. Two meters. Huh. Let's see if it'll work. 
Oh, snap. But now you can see it clearly. The rain is gone, dude. So, did he hit the barrier? The, like, dimensional barrier with his fire? Ooh, okay. Just in time. He can see it now. Now we shut it down for good. Split it straight down the middle. <gasps> what? Jumonji? Oh, Tatsuya! Alright, what's the plan now? Oh, okay. Dang, I'm- I'm so confused. But why didn't he use it? Hmm. Dang, so he- he regrets not using it. Because he could have gotten rid of that and protect potentially like saved future victims to this parasite. But okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna try my best to like explain my understanding of what's going on exactly. So we have our dimension where we are right now, and when we use magic, we're able to kind of draw energy from outside of our dimension into our dimension and manifest it as magic but we can only like draw a limited amount however whenever one of the black holes are opened it's kind of like a doorway like a clear open doorway for like the energy from outside of our dimension to enter into our dimension so we get much more powerful magic through that method However, it's also more unstable. And are these parasites outside of the dimension? And they're like possessing people through these black holes, maybe? Like this is a parasite right here. From what it looks like. And here's its host. And it's found another victim. Okay, so I just have a couple of questions that I kind of want to say as food for thought. If you guys, like, if it's already been explained, then please, 100%, like, refresh my memory. But if it hasn't, and you know, maybe through reading the visual novel, please do not spoil. Just, like, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to hear, like, further explanation for concepts and things that are going on that we already know. But if there are, like, pieces to this puzzle that we haven't seen yet please don't spoil but um i guess one question i have is is this intentional like the the leader that we saw of the parasites the guy that has the uh trajectory distortion or whatever that ability is called is this like did he willingly open a black hole to like summon one of these parasites so that the parasite would take over his body and he could use that parasites like more powerful magic is that what's going on here and like when a parasite possesses someone are they still conscious like are they still able to make decisions on their own like as the person they were before getting possessed and they're just able to use the parasites power or does the parasite make them into completely different people? Like, does it actually like possess them and control how they think, what they do, all of that jazz? And if it does like mind control them, what is the parasite's like current goal? What is it trying to go for? This is all kind of like food for thought and just like kind of random thoughts that I have, but this is getting super freaking interesting 
especially because like lena's own like right hand woman was possessed and i wonder was she already a part of the group the organization of these parasites and she just like infiltrated lena's little squad or did this happen afterwards like maybe while she was on one of her missions did she bump into parasites and did she get infected dang man i i really don't know <laughs> i really don't know but that's such a curveball the fact that her own ally and now lena i'm sure she's in a position where she doesn't know who she can actually trust and this might actually like kind of make her more inclined to work with tatsuya since it seems like we all have a common goal here we're trying to get rid of the parasites now she has another goal which is trying to like learn more about tatsuya get more intel on him but this might be the beginning of us finally becoming allies can't wait to see where things go from here but anyways i'm gonna go on a bit of a mahoka marathon in order to catch up from here so i'm gonna jump straight into the next episode thank you all so much for checking out the video if you did make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more saishoni content but with that i'm gonna end the episode here and i will see you all in the next one have a good one